Hello, and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Today we're going to take a little break from Golden Books, since those were the past several that I did, and take a one-off look at Whisper the Winged Unicorn. I do have more, and we will get to them later, but as I mentioned it in my introductory video, I thought we should get to at least one. I'll reiterate at this point. This book was written back before people called a creature that had both horns and wings and looked like a horse, an alicorn. Back in the day, they were winged unicorns. So this is Whisper the Winged Unicorn. This story is written by Karen Stiles and illustrated by Katherine L. Wilson. Also of note, the Whisper the Winged Unicorn book series each came with 12 collector stickers, of which I tore the page out of the books very carefully and kept in one of those pencil boxes you used to get in the 80s and never stuck them on anything. Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really should have just left them in the books. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, it probably would have increased the value. It's okay, we weren't very keen about collecting back then. No. And I should probably lean forward so I'm closer to the microphone. Maybe, because, you know, to fall under fair use, we really do need to have original content and commentary. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty pictures already. Yes, uh, this book is designed one page text, one page photo. And uh, the series goes through several different authors and illustrators. So you will, well, if you get your claws on the books, you will see some variances in the art and the character depictions. Helps if we start on the first page. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. <laughs> in the middle of the forest, a beautiful unicorn dangled her feet in the water. As she peered into the quiet little pool, the summer wind whispered through her feathery white wings. It was from this soft sound that she got her name, Whisper. Whisper loved to play. Often she would spend an entire day frolicking with her butterfly friends, but when they began to flutter high into the air, she watched sadly from the ground. Although her wings were lovely, Whisper was afraid to fly. It's so interesting that it's, it says that she dangles her legs into the water. It less looks like dangling and more like she's kind of laying on her belly and just kind of flopping them in the water. Yeah, it looks more like she has her hooves plunged halfway up her legs. Also, for never having flown, her wings look in pretty good shape. Oh, and just to let you know, since you can't see the pictures, Whisper is a white unicorn with a rainbow mane and a golden horn. I'm sorry if that reminds you of anyone. Holy smokes. <coughs> Moving on. All of the other creatures of Rainbow Forest, where Whisper lived, Rainbow Main, Rainbow Forest, okay, we get it, thought her wings were magnificent. Bixby the rabbit was a great admirer of Whisper. Whenever he saw her, he would ask her about flying. Oh, Whisper, sighed Bixby, it must be wonderful to fly. You can travel to faraway places in the blink of an eye. Yes, all children's books must rhyme. Please, Whisper, will you fly for me? Not just now, stammered Whisper, for she was too embarrassed to tell Bixby that she had never flown at all. I'm guessing by the end of this book she flies. Oh, go ahead and just spoilers. <laughs> Whisper told Bixby goodbye and walked on. Soon she saw Tommy the turtle balancing himself on a big rock. I've been looking for you everywhere, he cried breathlessly. Look, Whisper, I'm practicing flying. <coughs> Everyone just take a moment to enjoy that thought of a turtle practicing flying outside of the Mario universe. Oh yeah, they have wings in the Mario universe. Mm -hmm. Any minute now. Any second, I will be soaring and swooping. But first... <laughs> but first, I must ask you a question. During takeoff, is it better to start with the knees bent or... <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you right now, said Whisper as she hurried away. As Whisper wandered... Whisper wandered, that sounds nice. As Whisper wandered deeper into the forest, she thought and thought. Finally, she decided that if she did not try to fly at all, she would never know whether she could. So when she neared the water, she got a galloping start, squeezed her eyes shut, and jumped into the air. 
for a moment, everything was still. Then Whisper landed in the water with a big splash. So in the art, it shows like she's landing on a log or something. Well, I think they had to make it so that the picture didn't give it away. So that while the child is staring at the picture, while the adult is reading the text, they don't know what exactly actually happened. Hmm. Also, nice touch with this artist. The flowers are very uh, realistic. I can actually hmm. name several of them. Flip to the next page real quick. Yeah, the artist also seems to need to frame each picture with flowers or vegetation. Mm -hmm. As I said, the series goes through several different illustrators. Her beautiful rainbow mane and tail were soaked, and drops of water ran down her forehead. Resting on a floating log, funny, in the last picture it looked like she was had landed on it, so... Whisper began to cry. A crying unicorn looks very sad. Hmm, the tip of her horn looks like it's clipped off there. Yes, and it's also interesting that, you know, the butterflies are her friends. We know that she has at least one rabbit friend and one turtle friend. So in the illustration on this page, we have butterflies flying in the sky. We have two rabbits looking at her. We also have a turtle nestled in the daffodils looking at her. And what looks to be a dragon, I think, in the background? Or is that an alligator? <laughs> ah, Whisper climbed out of the water and lay down in the shade of the birch trees. What good are my wings if I cannot use them, she sobbed. I want to learn to fly, but I'm afraid I'll fall out of the sky. And yes, all children's books must rhyme. Did I hear you say afraid? Echoed a loud but gentle voice. Loud but gentle. I like those. Whisper quickly jumped to her feet. Who are you? she asked. I am Dorian, the all the time friendly and sometimes frightened dragon of Rainbow Forest. Eh? Eh? Um, eh? I did. I don't know. Um, okay, let's continue. Yes, a rainbow colored dragon living in Rainbow Forest. Also, dragons are large and Whisper has lived her entire life in Rainbow Forest. How has she never run into Dorian before? Yeah. Do not find fault with yourself because you are afraid. There is not a creature in the forest who does not know fear. You will find the courage to fly, but you must be patient. Go to the giant oak tree and sleep beneath its sturdy branches. When you awake, you will feel better. Kind of knowledgeable dragon. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Also, what good does sleeping under the oak tree do i mean obviously it's going to work for whisper but well oak trees have meanings and stuff like that i don't know about right now but each tree has a specific meaning and it... yes but children's books often have lessons so this is all about not being afraid so telling whisper to do something that a child couldn't replicate hmm. whisper did as dorian told her as night approached in the forest she made her way to the spot where the giant oak grew she nestled into the soft grass beside its giant trunk and fell asleep. We have three quarters of a page of a unicorn sleeping. All night long, Whisper dreamed of flying. When she awoke in the morning, she was surrounded by her forest friends. We're going to go play tag. Come play with us, said her friends. Then off they went, leaving Whisper to catch them. I guess if you're the last one awake, you're it. Apparently. Even though she was still a bit sleepy, Whisper sprang to her feet and hurried after her friends. Whisper wasn't quite sure why, but she wasn't afraid anymore. It was a beautiful morning, and the wind felt good as it whispered through her wings. Without really thinking about it, she began to move her wings back and forth, back and forth as she ran. I guess that... Did you say that's a frog or a lizard? Mm, I would say... A toad? Yeah, apparently the toad and the butterfly aren't playing tag, because they're awfully close to Whisper in this picture. And then, almost magically, really, something magical about a unicorn, her feet left the ground and she began to rise into the air. Whisper was flying! Higher and higher she rose, until she could see all of Rainbow Forest below. 
That seems like one heck of an advantage for playing tag. Yeah. I can see all of you. From that day on, whenever Whisper soared through the sky, her friends in Rainbow Forest watched in wonder. She was a most beautiful sight. Yet Whisper never forgot how frightened she had once been. When she was afraid, she remembered Dorian's words, Do not find fault with yourself because you are afraid. There is not a creature in the forest who does not know fear. Okay, they said it twice. That must be the lesson, not go sleep under an oak tree. <laughs> and after that, Whisper found the courage to try many new things. It's been a good place to leave a book that has a bunch of other books after it. Yes, because okay, now she can fly. So in every other book, we can have something about flying. So, what did you think of that book? <laughs> like now and then? Yeah, it's, to me, it feels like one of the weaker entries, which is sad to say for what appears to be the first book in the series, because where were her parents? Was she born of rainbows and moon dust? There was no one to teach her? Is she an orphan? That's kind of sad for a kid's book. Hmm. Also, like I said in the beginning, her wings look in really good shape for never being used. Hmm. You mean physically fit, as in? Yes, as in not weakened. Flying takes a lot of strength. A lot of energy, yeah. So she couldn't just be carrying those around and never flying and suddenly have them work well. Mm -hmm. But that's bringing logic into a children's book and into a fantasy book. Ah. Which is not really how these things work. This has been Ember's Reading Room with a rendition of Whisper the Winged Unicorn by Karen Stiles, illustrated by Katherine L. Wilson. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this, please share it with friends and consider subscribing and leaving a comment below. You can also check out other videos in the Ember's Reading Room category or additional videos on our channel where we cover a variety of pop culture topics including anime, American television, video games, and movies. You can support this channel financially by checking out our Patreon and Coffee links. We also have links specific to Ember's Reading Room for Amazon to trace back to the books that are being read, and Ebates, which is a shopping rebate site. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of Ember's Reading Room or any of Lux Analysis channel content.